Hi, my name is Lizette Leon and I am losing Lisa and uh, I assigned myself the task a week, two weeks ago actually, uh, to give myself the month of July to lose 10 pounds. Um, my first week I lost 5 pounds which I attribute to mostly water and the second week I lost 3 pounds. So I have lost a total of 8 pounds. Um, how did I do this safely? I basically what I did was I followed, the, I did see a dietitian, a nutritionist, a diabetic educator and also with discussions with my therapist I found that the best way for me, for my, for my personality was to um, I had to drink a lot, a lot, a lot of water. I drank 8 to 10 cups of water a day. I didn't start out drinking 8 to 10 cups. I started out drinking more like 6 to 8 cups. But uh, I worked my way. I gave myself a chance to work my way up. I wasn't hard on myself if I was um, not successful in getting to the 10 cups. The first week I did 6 to 8 cups. Second week I did 8 to 10 cups. And the other thing that I did, I wrote everything down so that I wouldn't forget, is I ate breakfast every single day. That was my heaviest meal. And I found that it gave me energy, it made me feel good. If I didn't eat breakfast, I found that my blood sugar dropped because I am diabetic and I was very irritable and I developed a headache and I spent the whole day unhappy, even if I ate lunch uh, and dinner afterward. So when I find when I find I find that I have breakfast every single day, I am in a more positive mood, and I'm more likely to stick to my diet, and I'm more likely to drink the eight to ten cups of water a day. Additionally, I increase my exercise. Now, my first week I didn't do as much exercise as I should have. I did some walking, but the second week I started doing walking and I added on using the stepper which is a, a great way for me to use my large muscles and I didn't spend a lot of time doing it I only spent five minutes a day doing it um, I need to increase that as I build uh, strength and endurance and tolerance I'll increase the amount of time I spend using my stepper. I still need to, in general, increase my walking. I do have a treadmill and I need to start using that next week. Additionally, I weigh myself every single day. Some people can't weigh themselves every day. It's too disheartening for them or they find that it, it's too negative for them. But I find that uh, that it set me right. Oh, I gained a half a pound. I need to watch what I ate. What could I have eaten yesterday that contributed to that? Let me make sure I watch my carbs more carefully. And so basically that's what I did. And also, um, whenever I did eat, I ate healthier foods. I ate more fruit and vegetables. I had more salads. I ate soups. I drank a lot of water. I replaced my diet sodas with regular water. And I found that I uh, am less tolerant now of the uh, sodas and the diet sodas and the diet drinks. I prefer water, although I do flavor my water a little bit with Crystal Light just to give it some flavor uh, because it's hard to find just a nice, clean, crisp water. And that is what I've been doing as well as just being mindful of what I'm eating when I'm actually eating I'm not rushing through I'm enjoying every bite I'm tasting my eggs in the morning uh, they taste nice they're warm they're a little I put salt and pepper and so they taste nice and I have uh, one piece of uh, turkey bacon just one piece and a small one at that um, and I enjoy that. It's, it's chewy, it's crispy, and if I have carbs in the morning, I'll usually have a bran muffin um, or a piece of fruit. 
and I enjoy, enjoy that, the flavor, the moisture, and I just try to think about the food that is in my mouth while I'm eating it, and I find that I enjoy it over an extended period of time, and I don't feel like I need to add something else to my eating. I cut down significantly on my snacking. I hardly had any snacks during the week while I was um, at work. Usually I'm just a machine with just popping things in my mouth all day long. And I dropped that completely. I hardly had any snacking uh, at work. If I had to have a snack, it would be a piece of fruit. And I'm trying to replace candies with with uh, healthier eating pieces of fruit and a piece of vegetable or something like that. So, and that's basically it. That's what I've done these last two weeks. I do need to still eat healthier. I do still need to decrease my carbs because I'm a bread fiend. I love bread and that's part of my culture. I'm Spanish and we eat bread all the time. And so I do have to give up a lot of those things. I have uh, had one um, major carb of rice. However, it was brown rice. I haven't had any pasta and that has helped tremendously. And I did have uh, half a sandwich for lunch and half a sandwich for dinner yesterday. So I did, ha I'm still having my, my bread carbs, but I'm eating leaner and I, uh, on Fridays I do have ice cream. I have half to a cup of, uh, ice cream. And so what's your favorite flavor? So maybe I can try having, uh, some of your favorite flavors and, uh, I love strawberry ice cream and basically that's it that's what i'm doing now and i'm thinking of including in my weekly vlogs another vlog and that would be on specific subjects that are affecting my weight such as that my issues with anxiety and depression and talking about diabetes and how that's affecting my diet and seeing how you think uh, about those subjects and how they relate to my di my efforts in losing weight and improving the quality of my life. Um, I am taking my diabetic medication as I am supposed to and I am seeking uh, mental health assistance to make sure that I stay more focused and that I stick to the subject at hand of my efforts to lose weight. I am being treated for binge eating. And so I would like comments on what subjects you would like to hear me talk about. So if you can, uh, at the end of the vlog, write me some comments on topics that you'd like to see me talk about during Losing Lisa, I would love it. And don't forget to uh, comment in the, uh, in the area below and also hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe it's free and that will be great thank you so much for joining me at losing lisa thank you bye bye